welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Donita, your PNA teacher in Norway. And in this video, I will share you my tips and strategies on how I've learned Norwegian language. Or we can say I will share you some tips na ginawa ko to learn a new language. So just sit back and relax and get your pen and paper to take down notes. And let's start! <laughs> that you must know is why you want to learn a language ask yourself why because if you know what is the reason what is the purpose of learning a new language you will have an inspiration magkakaroon ka ng inspirasyon na mag-aral nito for example me i want to settle or to live here in norway in my whole life that's why naisip ko na Kung dito ako naninirahan, dapat marunong ako ng salita nila. Marunong ako dapat makipag-communicate sa kanila. So, one time naalala ko na order ako sa isang restaurant. Hindi ko alam kung paano umorder. Hindi ko alam kung mag english ba ako or mag norwegian ako kasi baka hindi nila maintindihan yung English. That's why maraming hindrance, maraming mga balakid. Pero, kailangan alamin mo sa sarili mo bakit. Pag nalaman mo yun, inyo magiging inspirasyon mo. Pag meron ka kasing inspirasyon at talagang willing kang matuto, iyan yung pinaka-importante bagay para matuto ng isang language. That is the first one. So, when you already have an inspiration and you already know your goal, what language do you want to learn, you must start it step by step. Be realistic. For example, I want to learn Norwegian language. I will start from the basic. Magsisimula ako sa basic at aalamin ko yung alphabet nila. Aalamin ko yung mga... Al alamin ko yung eight parts of speech nila. Kung ano yung noun, kung ano yung pronoun. And then the basic grammar rules on how to create a sentence. And then, slowly but surely, yun na yung simula ng aking pag-aaral ng bagong language. So that will be... The start of learning a new language is the second one. Now, let's move on to the third one. In learning a language, there are basic skills that you must know. Reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Now, in reading, if you want to practice reading in a certain language, for example, Norwegian, I used to read newspapers every day. Of course, every day there are news that will come up on your mobile phone that you can check every day. In that way, you practice reading the language daily. And so that will be your reading practice. Now, let's move on to listening practice. So when you are listening a certain language that you want to learn, of course, sa simula, mahirap yan kasi di mo alam, san, san ba nila nakukuha yung mga salitang yun? Bakit yun yung tawag, for example, refrigerator? In Norwegian, it means sholeska. So, think of it. Papano naging sholeska ang refrigerator? So, that is also one of the hardships of learning a new language. You don't know how they come up to that kind of word. Bakit iyon yung tawag sa ganong bagay? And at that time, kapag natutunan mo na rin yung salita, for example, shole is a kind of chill. So, Shole, chill. So that is the meaning of shole in Norwegian. So to chill a food and is cup is a kind of drawer. So that will be shole cup. So in that time, well done. Dun ko nalaman ay ganon pala kaya pala ganto yung tawag nila sa refrigerator kaya pala shole cup. So try to listen may podcast, songs, music. Even now, I can say that I can relate some of the music in Norwegian and magaganda rin yung mga music nila na appreciate ko na. That is the second basic skills na kailangan nyo ring aralin. And the next one is writing. So, of course, if you read, if you listen, you must also try to write. Just to start from the basic of writing all those things na nangyari sa inyo sa buong maghapon, in your whole day, what happened, and then write it in Norwegian or in the language that you choose, kung anong gusto nyong aralin na language. 
And then, as time goes by, madadagdagan yung mga vocabulary nyo kasi nga, kaya nga kayo nagbabasa, di ba? Reading also helps you to learn more words, to learn more words in a certain language. So, lalawak yung vocabulary nyo. In yung pinakamagandang way, mas maraming words na maalala mo, mas maraming words na maintindihan mo, mas madali ang interpretation and understanding sa bagong language na gusto mong aralin. And those are the three skills that you must practice but also don't forget fourth skill and that is speaking kailangan mong magkaroon ng partner or find someone that you can practice the language that you want to learn so for example norwegian i used to practice with my classmate and doon nagsasalita kami ng norwegian so norwegian only policy kung may english only policy in some sa classroom sa atin. Nag-try kami ng Norwegian only policy. Or even in my household, dito sa bahay namin, ako at ang asawa ko, nagsasalita lang kami ng Norwegian language. And in that way, na-practice ko yung pagsasalita or speaking Norwegian language fluently. So, those are the four basic skills that you must achieve and practice if you want to learn a new language. Reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Practice it every day and use it as much as possible para ma-apply nyo at maging fluent kayo dun sa Norwegian language. And the last is strategy that is for me very effective is use the language as a habit by changing the language of your mobile phone and then yung Facebook nyo, yung mga social medias nyo, lahat kung gusto nyo talagang matutunan ang Norwegian language. Change the language of your phone, of your computer that you use every day. In that way, you will practice using the language. That's all. If you will follow all those simple tips and strategies that I've told to you, I'm sure that you will able to learn a new language, whatever language it is. It can be Norwegian, it can be English, it can be Spanish. Kayang-kaya nyo matutunan yan basta pursigido kayo. And may tiwala kayo sa sarili nyo na matutunan nyo ang isang bagay. And, and that's all. I hope that you learned something worthful here in this video. And of course, guys, don't be discouraged if you commit mistake. Always remember, kapag nagkakamali ka in learning a certain language, it will help you. Because we learn from our mistakes. So that is the best way. Use the language. Practice it every day listen read write whatever it takes for you to learn a certain language that you need or that you want and before i end this video i would like to make some shout out from my youtuber friends who are always there and active in my youtube channel shout out to teacher eds nika wanderlust basic bob and miss jaren abalan so once again Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for you to have more updates when I have new uploads.